So what's behind this perverse attack on Hillary as being out of touch with America's families? Or the charge that the progressive policies Hillary espouses are not based in actual belief, but in craven political posturing. In Killing the Messenger, I tell you exactly what the Republican playbook against Hillary is. And one move in that playbook is doing everything they can to undermine Hillary's support among Democrats, raising doubts, dampening enthusiasm, driving a wedge. Now, before that campaign began, Republicans did a lot of chest pounding about how excited they were to run against Hillary. I hope you didn't believe a word of it because none of them did. The Republican Party today is disordered and disoriented, but Republicans know one thing. They don't want to face Hillary Clinton in next November's election. They know what Democrats know, that Hillary Clinton is the most formidable candidate we can nominate and the only candidate in either party with the clear political vision for stronger families and a stronger America and the know-how to get the job done. It's not just that Republicans are afraid Hillary will beat them next November, although they are. It's that they're afraid of Hillary implementing her vision as president. Now, some on the left may not yet believe that Hillary would be a truly transformative progressive president, but make no mistake, everyone on the right believes it, and it scares the hell out of them. That's why Republicans are salivating at the prospect of Hillary being bloodied in a Democratic primary. That's why there's such a clamor from the scaremongers on the right that Democrats need a plan B to Hillary. Well, anyone out there in the audience today who has a phone number for Michael Dukakis? <laughs> the truth is Republicans would love to see Democrats nominate someone without Hillary's depth of experience and record of achievement and someone who doesn't represent the kind of historic change she does. So you can be sure they're gonna cause her as much grief as possible between now and the convention. Now, it would be silly to suggest that other candidates in the Democratic field are running as a favor to Republicans, even if that could be a political effect. There are some differences among the Democratic candidates. They're going to be debated starting tomorrow night and voters can judge for themselves. But when I hear some progressives saying that Hillary is too timid in support of progressive priorities, I wonder if they may not be listening closely. For such a claim flies in the face of everything we know about what kind of president Hillary would be. The platform she's unveiled in the campaign, the record she's amassed throughout her career, the very story of her life, all of it shows Hillary to be proudly, even bravely, and authentically progressive. And despite what the media tells us, Hillary isn't moving in a progressive direction. She has been there all along. 